What? 16 myths? Your parents told you, but they're false. What was yours? Mine was, uh, don't worry about, um, Uncle, Uncle Bob. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. What, did, what, uh, you should have worried about him. I should have. Well, I should very much worry, worried about Uncle Bob. He had to do with some dodgy stuff. But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I'm here with Zerka and I'm here with Vicstar, and we're going to watch him. Okay, here's the first one. Myth or true? Carrots can help you see in the dark. It's true. This. Myth. While oh. carrots are full of vitamin no. A, which helps maintain eyesight, you won't get night vision. In the 1940s, British Air Forces invented a new radar, and to keep it secret, they told everyone it was carrots that helped them see at nighttime. Ah, had a ball on strings. Diamonds aren't a special gemstone. True. While diamonds may be a great engagement rock, they're not as rare as we've been made to believe. They restrict the supply, innit? A lot of people mm -hmm. have them. They drip, drip feed the public. What was that stone that kind of you found in a certain place? There's a reason Simon reacts. It's like a red stone. Oh, the red one, yeah, yeah, in like Myanmar or some shit. Yeah. Right. What's that one called? Do you remember? I don't remember what it called, but it looked a bit dead. I won't lie to you. It's no, but really diamonds don't look great until you cut them. Until they what? You cut them. That's why it looks oh, so sick. Okay. I was like, I, 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 I must have heard wrong there, Josh. Don't worry. What do you think I said? I thought you said until they come. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I, I don't know why. Anyway, it doesn't look great until you come. Okay. Right. <laughs> Advertising campaigns have made this very common rock something extraordinary. If you want something really rare, painite gems oh. will look oh, beautiful aye. and they do it at the same time. Yeah, we're, we're becoming so fifty thousand dollars <laughs> a carrot. There you go. Come on. Fruit Loops have different flavors. Myth. That's pain. Mm. I don't think anyone's parents actually ever told them that one. I can't lie. That'd be a well, weird parents didn't because they didn't really exist to the UK. But I still don't think any parents sat their kids down and like, by the way. Those purple ones, they taste different. I never had Fruit Loops. I wasn't allowed as a kid. My parents thought they had too much like E numbers. They're like, you're already up the walls. If we give you Fruit Loops. It's still about Lucky Charms, to be honest. You need some Lucky Charms. Get those little charms, marshmallow yeah. bits. I had, I had Weetabix. I had three Weetabix. What if I put sugar on them though, Harry? Or is it just straight Weetabix only? No, but I could put bananas and raisins though. Well, your parents brought it up quite nicely then. I, mean, I just caked them in sugar. I had four Weetabix this morning for breakfast every day. You had four this morning, Vic? Yeah, I did. I had four every morning. Every single morning. Four Weetabix. Jesus to this day? Filled up. To this day. To this day. I to respect this, that. Dude, to this a day. That's a hearty breakfast, that is. Isn't it? And hey, it fuels me properly. Good fuel. I used to add that and then I realized I'd, I'd, uh, I got constipation because of the, the gluten thing. That was my fucking <laughs> There's a lot of fiber in it though. A lot of five. A lot of five, yes. Now I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> Dropping a penny from the Empire State Building Wee. can obliterate a person below. <laughs> this one's irregular. Yes. Well, the penny won't tip. It, it will not damage anyone on the ground. Simply, Hello. the uh, penny can't build uh, up enough speed while it's tumbling to the ground. I mean, define damage, right? <laughs> yeah, it will hurt still. It's gonna yeah, hurt. If I, if I pinged a penny at your head as full pelt, like <laughs> got a clean hit on it your would, head. It's still really gonna hurt, hurt, yeah. You know, it would probably cut someone, and if they looked up, it could kill them if it hit them in the eye, so. Definitely blind. If it went down their mouth, went down their throat, they looked up, they're like, go try to sneeze or something. <laughs> yeah, look at the sun trying to get, like, get it to sneeze, and the second they sneeze, it's <laughs> point. The moon has a dark side. Come on. Myth. But does it not? No, the moon isn't going to use the force to rule. Such a waffle merchant. Our satellite is tidally locked with the Earth, meaning that we're always looking at one side. But there's no permanent dark side. Oh, okay. Kleenex <laughs> was originally designed for gas masks. True. Yeah, Kimberly Clark originally designed a thin cotton substitute to be used as a filter. Can I just say, can you hear this? My builders are... Going off there, not outside. Well, not, not even my builders. They're your builders. Your builders. <laughs> no, my, well, my, my my builders. Them now they've lived outside my house for fucking a year. <laughs> I just can't hear them. No. I okay, we're well, good. Yeah. I, I, I used to say, point out, I can hear like a, a slight drilling in the back, or like a hammer in the back. But okay. Kleenex began selling in the U.S. as a cold cream and makeup remover, eventually turning into the soft tissues we love today. That's how Chocolate long. is bad for you. Boy, isn't that a myth. <laughs> While too much chocolate, just like too much of anything, can indeed do some harm, a little bit can be quite good for you. Not just any chocolate, though. Dark chocolate. Only the dark variety. Yeah. Yum. I, the other day, I had 100% dark chocolate. Or not 100%, it was like 99% dark chocolate, and it tasted like ass. It was just like, it, it honestly tastes like mud. That. It's not, there's nothing to yeah. it. Yeah, it's all right. No, not the, not the 99, like, it's like, it's, there's nothing, there's no redeeming quality about it. It's not like 90% cocoa. Is it like really just, just like bitter? It's not even sweet, is it? Yeah, it's more bitter. No, bitter, sweet. like, yeah, it was really hard to get through, so would not recommend. I feel for you, man. It was healthy. Weekend sleep-ins will help you catch up on lost sleep. That's a myth. 
As comfy as your bed is on a Sunday morning, you just can't make up for lost sleep. Irregular sleep can lower your concentration and performance. If you're refreshed when you wake up, you've had the right amount. Wait, <laughs> I've never had the right amount of sleep. Oh, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, if you ever wakes up like this, the happiest this guy. You ever wake up <laughs> and look up and go, you know, hmm. it's stock footage, Josh. It's stock footage for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Some people leap out of bed and have a good day. I'm just like, <sighs> zombies are real. True. Huh? Now, no human has ever turned into a hungry zombie that were shown so much in the movies, but they do exist in the animal kingdom. A fungus that has a really long name I don't want to pronounce oh, takes yeah. over oh. ants with its chemicals. Makes them KO themselves. Go on, try, try and pronounce it, Vic. What's that? Cordyceps unilateralis. There you go. Come on. That was a guess. It's got a shroom coming out of his head. No, mate, it makes them top themselves. It's kind of mental. Wait, what? Under the control of the fungus, the ant leaves its family to find a very specific branch or leaf. Then it lets the fungus sprout out of it and release spores back into the world. How delightful. The largest living organism is the blue whale, African elephant, or shack. <laughs> Myth. <laughs> well, all of those are large. The honey fungus in the Blue Mountains, Oregon, wins by quite a bit. With the Wait. length of 3.4 miles, that's six and a half Burj Khalifas end Does to end, count? and it's still growing. But on the bright side, it's edible. Mushroom omelet, anyone? Turkeys can blush. True. Who got told that? Turkeys blush when excited, angry, or sick. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. The skin on their heads and necks can turn red. So they get all nervous, they go red. Or even a shade of blue. The fleshy flap of skin that hangs over <laughs> oh, their neck is called a oh, snood. No. There's such dangly penises on their front. It looks like the ood from Doctor Who. We only have five senses. Myth. Okay, what else? There's no right number. Some say 5, 7, 14, 24, or even 57. 57. Our most basic senses are actually sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. But also movement, body position, temperature, balance, and the sense of our internal state. Like feeling your heart. For example, close your eyes and touch your nose. That's proprioception, or body position. So you know where our nose is. Interesting. Oh, I, I hit the top of my nose. I missed it. Bats are blind. Myth. Bats' eyesight is actually better at nighttime than ours. They just can't see as well in daytime because they only see in black and white. Perhaps this myth arose from the fact that bats use sonar to navigate without sight. Unicorns are real. True. Oh, They're not horses, though. Come it's on. deer that are likely the culprit. A single horn can be a genetic anomaly found in some species. So not real, it's just a... Uh... Well, yeah, that's not a unicorn. That's a one-horn, that's a one-horn <laughs> bloody antelope one. Honey never spoils. Myth. Uncovered in a humid environment, it will spoil. As long as the lid stays on it and no water is added to it, honey shouldn't go bad, though. Ooh, I could do with some honey, and I'm pretty hungry this morning. Having antifungal and antibacterial properties means no organisms can live in it. No matter how old your stored honey is, it's probably perfectly edible. Oranges are always orange. Myth. Sweet oranges are a hybrid of tangerines and the pomelo with a bright green skin to help protect them from the sun. Is that called a green, then? Yeah, I was going to say, what, was, what, what came first, the colour or the, or the fruit? That's a good point. What if green is really orange? Green has been orange all the time. What if your green's my orange? orange, and what if your orange is my green? Uh, I've seen TikToks about that recently, yeah. and I, that baffles me. That stuff. <laughs> Not that again. It's true, like, the sky might be red to me, but it's but, blue But it's you. your blue, yeah. yeah. What you perceive as blue is different to what I perceive as blue, potentially. That's why people have different favourite colours, because they're just seeing completely different fucking things. Yeah. Mm. Surely not. I think, so. wow, who knows, mate? We'll never know. Oh, well, surely there must be a test we can do. No, because it's because you'll see it, though. The way you see it is different, and how you learn it, it's all different, right? So there's no way of actually telling. No one else in the world may see things. There may just be uh, a simulation that tells you that they see things, but they actually don't see anything. Now you're taking it too far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've, not my, I've not had my breakfast yet. Yeah, I'm not ready for this I'm kind spun. of day. I'm spun. <laughs> oh. In warmer climates, like Southeast Asia, oranges are still a bright green when ripe. Makes you wonder what came first, the fruit or the color. Hey. Wait, what? Josh, what? what's going on in this video? <laughs> there are bugs in your strawberry frappuccino. True. Huh? 
Eh, but not anymore. A dye made of ground-up tiny insects called cochineal bugs is used by many companies to make the color red. This is in our uh, Cyber Jeopardy. Starbucks stopped using bug red color in their strawberry frappuccinos in 2015. Firefighters use wetter water. True. Huh? To be more efficient at stopping fires, firefighters recently started adding certain chemicals to the water. The wetting agents reduce the surface tension of the water, making it easier to spread and soak into objects. That's, That's quite cool. White and foam. Yeah. Yeah. Leave wasps alone, and they'll leave you alone. Myth. Oh. <laughs> they don't care. While this works for bees, their cousins, the yellow jackets, will disagree. Known as one of the most bad-tempered wasps, vicious looking they've been said to sting Christ. unprovoked, even if you just happen to walk by their nest. Me. If you see wasps, give them a wide berth. Hey, I've never been stung by a wasp. So, I haven't been bee. stung by a bee, or, yeah, a bee or a wasp. But that makes me more scared, because it's the fear of the unknown. How about you, Josh? You've been stung I by a bee or a wasp in your life? Pretty, pretty a wasp. I think I've been stung by a wasp, but not a bee. Because a bee suicides itself. Right? Yeah, no, it's 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 I'm, I'm not worth it for a bee. <laughs> I'm not, aware, I'm not aware of a bee's life. I feel bad if a bee stung me. Killed it. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be torn down after 20 years. True. Huh? The Eiffel Tower was designed to show off France's industrial power during the World's Fair. It was a temporary structure, a scaffolding. It took ages to build, though. <laughs> the designers cleverly put transmitters and antennas on top to make the tower too useful to eventually demolish. Head lice prefer dirty hair myth. Lice don't really think about hair cleanliness. They simply need human hair to hang on to, whether it's squeaky <laughs> clean or greasier than a fryer. Lice Quiet. feed off of Quiet. our Quiet. scalp, friendly, yeah. and the hair is just a place to hang out. Vibing. If you go, if you have lice as a kid and you just shave your head off, does that, or shave, shave your hair off, does that get rid of the lice? Uh, Probably. I guess so, yeah. But unless they're sitting on the hair why, follicles. Why aren't the nitty kids just shaving their heads? Like, why <laughs> the nitty <laughs> kids. <laughs> because, because if they don't, then like the whole the whole class can get like a week off school. Uh, yeah, but, but it was like, oh yeah, I've fucking hell, John, I've got nits now. Like, I'm human. <laughs> Camel's humps store water. Myth. Camels don't store water. They store fat in their tissues, just like me after the holidays. These reservoirs of fat <laughs> allow camels to survive for days in the desert without stopping for food. They drink large amounts of water at a time and store that in their bloodstream. You need to drink eight glasses of water a day. Myth. You do, don't you? Staying hydrated is don't critical, especially in hotter weather. But we seem to forget that every drink is mainly water, even tea and coffee. Our bodies are the best indicators for when to drink water. Feel thirsty? Then it's time to have a drink. Uh, is it? I thought you had to drink, try and drink like three liters a day. Or even like, even like food has drink in it as well, right? Not drink. But food has water in it as well. <laughs> food has drink. Food, 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 drink. food has water in it. I like had a coke that has yeah. water in it. You have like yeah, tea or coffee has water in it. I've been trying to nail these like two liter M and S bottles for, for what? But that's nothing. good. That's good for you, though. It's good for you, though. Yeah. Staying yeah. dehydrated is good for you. But you you can be overhydrated it. as well. An elephant never forgets. True. Having the biggest brain of all land animals, elephants should have a great memory, and they do. Being able to remember their entire territory, friends, and spots to find water is crucial to the social structure of elephants. They might even have a better memory than you and I. Now, where did I leave my keys? For fuck's sake. Did you know that elephants think we're cute? They think we like can't look after ourselves. We're like babies. Did you know that? Uh, really? So who asked the elephant that? No, the way they behave. They behave like with motherly humans, towards like, us. Yeah, yeah. Like like we, we don't know what to do. Maybe they're just really friendly creatures. That's the way it is. Oh, they are really friendly. I love an elephant. I love an elephant. <laughs> Bananas grow upside down. True. Bananas grow naturally towards the sun as they're getting larger. That's why oh. there's a curve. So does that mean we've been peeling them the wrong way this whole time? Maybe. 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 <laughs> no number before 1,000 contains the letter A. True. Oh! Ah. Oh. That's kind of mad. That is mad. 101. With the end. Uh, yeah. 100. 101. 
Now you can try and spell each number out if you like, but I bet you're just gonna take my word for it. Yeah, wait, what about the ants? Weird. Yeah. No, that's a good point. That is a good point. Is that a right hundred what? One hundred one? One hundred one, one hundred two. One hundred and one. Yeah, you don't say hundred twenty one. You say hundred and twenty one. Yeah, it's both. If you wrote a check, you'd write one hundred and twenty one pounds only. Yeah. That's true. But is that English though? That in Spanish, then they say it as well, they say twenty and one. Oh uh, yeah, like vingt-et-un. Uh, well, that's French, but vingt-et-un. Uh, like, van, I don't know, van de deux? Is that what you do? I don't know, fucking something like that. <laughs> it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong. Like that. It's <laughs> they, they do like that, some, something like that. <laughs> well, just because you boys don't know fluent French, don't come for me. Right? The Guinness Book of World Records was created to settle arguments. True. The world's best trivia book was published in 1955 after an argument about the fastest game bird in Europe. The managing director of Guinness Brewery realized there wasn't a go-to book for trivial questions, so he created his own, and the rest is history. Oh, you're eating real wasabi. Myth. When what? you're sitting down for tasty sushi, that green paste sometimes isn't wasabi, it's horseradish. Real what? wasabi is very expensive with a milder taste to it. If it's not made in front of you, wow. it's not going to be the real thing. You eat horseradish. Oh, okay, wow. Do you think if you go to like a bougie sushi restaurant, that's going to be actual wasabi? But if you go to like wasabi, you're just going to get horseradish. <laughs> if you go to wasabi, you're not getting wasabi. <laughs> you get horseradish instead. <laughs> let's sue them. Let's sue them. It's fraudulent. Their whole shop is called wasabi. Nah, let's not get a lawsuit live on CyberRex, please. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no, boys. Oh, you'll front it for us, Harry. You can pay for it. I ain't front no fucking uh, lawsuit against it. wasabi, mate. I'm good. I'm Why not? Good. Wasabi, I love you personally. I think you use real wasabi. And I think I'm I busy that week, so have fun, Josh. Well, I'll just get Harry to do it, though. I went Harry to do it. Money, money, money man, Zerk. He'll be on the decks. He'll be on the ones and twos. <laughs> ones and twos.